once again, you know, this is another one of those situations where it's so weird that you just don't question it anymore. I drive you an hour and a half up to the desert, you're gonna go through the process, go through the works, go inside this building, climb up on board the Pearl or the Flying Dutchman, and we're gonna drench you, and you're gonna sword fight, and you're gonna be at an angle. <laughs> um, and you just kinda go, okay, fine, no problem. Last 10 weeks shooting of the movie, they had nothing left to shoot that wasn't in torrential rain for 10 weeks. It's kind of brutal, you know, I mean, when the rain comes on, you get drenched through from whenever we start shooting, which could be eight in the morning, till we finish shooting, which could be eight at night, you know, or later. Oh my God, how wet could a man be? How wet and cold can you be? It's just unbelievable. I counted up nine solid days without ever being dry. When this costume is wet, I weigh 45 pounds more. And then I've got a you know, wetsuit on underneath. You can barely move, but you sort of have so much adrenaline on the day just going for these bits um, that you hopefully rise to the madness of the moment. With wind machines that if they're not careful, they, they glue your eyelids to your eyes. You can't actually speak because you're standing there trying to stand up straight. Um, and when the wind is going and the rain is, and the rain is real big, fat rain, you know. Um, when that's happening, all your ideas go out the window. That's the beginning and end of my action career. It's real! Your son! I wouldn't call it acting, I'd call it surviving. We're working on a 15% kind of slope, and you're running uphill doing a sword fight in torrential rain that's literally in your eyes the entire time and you've got an entire camera crew kind of coming at you and just trying to see to actually know where to hit i mean it's I wouldn't say it's the safest thing i've ever done and your lenses pop out and everyone's a blur and you think oh my god there's a stunt man coming at me wielding a machete but people you know people were very responsible i think we got quite used to it it became almost a bit pragmatic. Now I've got to go on deck and fight and kill 13 men.